Okay, crew. I'm going to work on area and perimeter a little more today. I'm going to work on area and perimeter problems where a side length is missing. So instead of calculating the area and perimeter, we're going to be looking for one of the sides today. So right, this is the title for your next free page in your math notebook. After you've done that, <coughs> please turn uh, close your notebook up and just concentrate with me till we get to the uh, we do question. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've been um, calculating area and perimeter. Things like we want to say maybe this is uh, 45 inches one way and 11 inches the other way. Then we have learned how to calculate both the area and the perimeter. Um, the perimeter, we either add the length plus the width or the, and the length and the width. Or we um, do the length times 2 plus the width times 2. So in this case, I would add up. I usually use the first formula myself. So I would do 45 plus 11 plus 45 plus 11 and get a perimeter of 12. 15, 16, no, sorry, 5, 6, 10, 112 inches perimeter. And then the area, the formula for the area was the length times the width. So in this case, that would be 45 times 11. So 45 times 11. It is 1 times 4 is 4, 2 zeros, 10 times 5 is 50, 1 times 40 is 40, times 5 is 5, and it looks like those add up to 495. 495, and remember, area we're making square inches, so the unit is square inches. All right, so that's what we've done so far. So I'm going to switch that up a little bit today. So let's look at a problem like this. The new cafeteria kitchen was tiled with 279 one-square-foot tiles. So if you imagine these tiles, 100 and, or 279 of these one-square-foot tiles makes up the new cafeteria floor. The room is rectangular. And it is nine feet wide. How long is the kitchen? So we've got this new kitchen. And there are 279 square feet in it. 279 of these one square foot tiles inside of it. And it's nine feet wide. So that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I can imagine of those tiles, nine of them kind of go along this out the outside. All right, so I've got nine tiles going this way because it's nine feet wide. And I've got 279 of those tiles in there all together. So I want to figure out how long is the kitchen. That's the question. So now you know the area and you know the uh, width and you need to find out the length. So what I need to know now is if area is length times width. So I know the area. So I need to know 279 square feet is what times 9. So I've got to figure out what that other number is. Um, and lots of strategies you could use to do that. Um, I could like keep trying some things till I got it. Like I would say, oh, well, 10 times 9 is 90, which means 20 times 9 is 180. And I could keep kind of trying to count my way up until I got a number. I could keep guessing until I got the right number, um, which would work fine. I think I'm just going to choose to divide. If I know that 9 times something is 279, then I also know that 279 divided by 9 is that something. If that's not something you're comfortable doing, reversing your operation to solve, um, then just do what I said before. Like say 10, no, it's got that. Let's try 20 times 9. Let's try 30 times 9. 
and keep trying to get the number. But I know 9 times something is 279. That means 279 divided by 9. Give me that something. So I just need to calculate. Move my diagram here. Oops. Give myself a little more room. I'm just going to calculate. Oh, that was fancy. 279 divided by 9. So let's see, 9 times 3, ooh, yes, I can get really close. Look, 9 times 3 is 27, so 9 times 30 is going to be 270. It leaves me with 9, and I just have to do 9 times 1. Close 9. So the room is, I made 31 sets of 9, so the room is going to be 31 feet long. Nice cafeteria. So. If I made 31 rows of these tiles, I would make 279 altogether. So that's a kind of a reverse area and perimeter problem. You get the area, you get the side, you figure out the other side. All right, so hopefully not too bad. Uh, let's do one together. Open your notebook up, and let's try this one. Rhonda bought 182 feet of fencing to put around her garden. The garden is 25 feet long. How wide is the garden? So I've got some kind of garden here. And let me, let me think about it before I draw it. So let's think of what I've got. So I've got fencing to put around. Magic word here. The last question was about area. Um, this word around is a clue that I'm talking about perimeter, right? So I think what they're telling me is if she puts that fence around it, it'll be a perimeter of 182 feet. And so if the garden's 25 feet long, that's not much of the 182, so it might be shaped more like this instead of a longer rectangle. So there's my garden. And I'm, I have a perimeter of 182, and I know that it's 25 feet long. And my question is, how wide is the garden? So that's what I want to figure out. So the last one we dealt with area. This one I'm going to deal with perimeter. So I also know, I guess, if this is 25 feet long, this is probably also 25 feet long. And I know that if I add up my four sides, I'll get the perimeter. So 25 plus something plus 25 plus the other, the same something will add up to 182. Or if I use my other formula, well, I'll just use that formula. So now I've just got to figure out what the other something is. So I'm going to add up my... 225. I can use the commutative property here. That'd be kind of, and rearrange this to be 25 plus 25 plus something plus something equals 182. And that helps me know that 50 plus the something plus the something is 182. Whatever that length is that I don't know, that's the length of the garden. So I'm going to, I get 50 from here. And the rest of the 182 has to come from there. So let's see. If I'm going to make 50 and whatever this is add up to 182. 50 plus 100 is 150. 50 plus 130 is 180. So I think I need this together to be 132. Because if I had 50 plus 132, yeah, that would get me to 182, which I need, right? So it's 132 for both of them together. But if they're both together 132, then each something's only half of that. Each side's only half of that 132. So I need to know what half of 132 is. So let's go figure that out. 132 divided by... Two. Uh, let's see. Let's do two times fifty is a hundred. 
And let's do 2 times 15 is 30. And 2 times 1 is 2. So it looks like 50, 65, 66 would do it. So 66. So if each of these were 66 feet, then 66 plus 25 plus 66 plus 25 would be 182 feet in perimeter. Okay, guys, those are not particularly easy problems. They're not hard to set up and think about, but there's actually kind of a lot of math involved in actually figuring out the answer. So what I'd love for you to do, I don't think either of these were particularly easy problems. And if you didn't think so either, remember, sometimes it's easier to do something, understand it while I'm doing it, but then can still be a little hard to do it when you have to do it. So if either of those were tricky, please take the time to be super ready for class tomorrow and pay attention to these again. Possibly write them both down again if you need to, as we do, um, so that you're all ready to go for class tomorrow. So once you feel like you totally got this and you've got good notes taken, you're all set. See you tomorrow.